Hey guys, welcome back. So for this one, we're getting back into Philip K. Johnson's new Hulk series, which not only has brought us to the point where the Hulk is ready to get rid of Banner for good, but this also continues a story where nearly every monster you can imagine has been ordered to go after the Hulk. But before we jump back in, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to catch the spills every week. And don't forget to hit that bell up top to get all notifications so we can squat up in the comments for the first hour. Alright, so with us jumping back in, we continue in the super creepy little church in Red Creek, Oklahoma, where Sister Sadie and her zombified congregation attempted to sacrifice Banner to Brother Deep. And like we saw, Banner asked the Hulk to come out and help, but the Hulk intentionally waited for Banner to get stabbed before coming through and pounding these zombies' bones into dust. Because again, throughout the course of this series, aside from the different monsters coming after the Hulk from far and wide, there's also the underlying issue of the Hulk being tired of Banner and looking to get rid of him for good. Which to me, that's something that sounds like it's setting the stage for something crazy down the line and perhaps even a stronger base level Hulk with him having this perpetual chip on his shoulder. So I'm eager to keep a close eye on it throughout this series. But as it stands here with the Hulk handling these zombies, this is nothing to him on any day of the week. However, in the case of Charlie, she's just a little kid and she's terrified of these zombies who are coming after her from every angle as they continue to sing the hymn of Brother Deep this whole time which is one of those things that makes any creepy situation even creepier. You know, you throw a song in there, something like a tiptoe by the window. <laughs> Cause even with that alone, it's like, it's time to go. But with the Hulk fighting off this congregation of zombies, they're biting him, grabbing him, reaching and trying to stab him. This small church is falling apart and the Hulk eventually throws a ton of these things into the ground which we know from the previous issue, under this town you have the old mining tunnels, which is where Brother Deep first got his hold on the people of this town, generations ago. But suddenly some of these zombies reach back out, grabbing Charlie and nearly dragging her down with them. But the Hulk is able to just grab her like a little rag doll and get her to safety. And though it's funny to see him hold her like with one hand, just palm this little kid as he carries her outside the church and puts her back down. I think it's also important to point out how even though the Hulk is having his issues with Banner, which straight up make him look evil sometimes, it's still important to point out that he cares enough to make sure that this kid is okay. Even though right after that, he just goes on about his way as Charlie's just screaming for him to wait and take her with him. With her being a huge fan of the Hulk and wanting to be strong like him someday, but the Hulk tells her no, cause she's Banner's friend. And she tells him like, no, 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 her and Banner aren't cool like that. Cause he tried to send her away. But even still the Hulk's just like, nah, you're weak, afraid, puny, just like him. Which right there, I was just like, man, that's cold. So right away, Charlie just cusses him out. Cause she's been tossed to the side by Banner and the Hulk. And she asks him, is it because she got scared in a church full of zombies trying to drag her to hell? And just because she ain't some stupid green 800 pound jerk doesn't make her weak. <laughs> like she's snapping on him. But suddenly she hears a melody behind her, followed by this huge monstrous groan with cracks in the ground spreading from out under the church as the ground opens up wider, much wider causing Charlie to fall inside. So right away, without hesitation, the Hulk goes in after her while reaching out to grab Charlie and break her fall. But as the Hulk dives in for her, he's just like stupid. <laughs> Cause in some cases you might have a writer from a film or even a show, not just comics, have him say something like, no, Charlie, I'll save you which would have been breaking character like crazy. And I really just appreciate how the Hulk just says stupid, stupid kid, stupid kid fell in a stupid hole. <laughs> and with the Hulk saving Charlie again, it shows us that he's not a complete jerk now, which in this series, it's crucial that we're shown things like this because Philip K. Johnson's going a lot darker with the Hulk now. So from time to time, we got to see where the limitations lie. But now at this point with them falling underground, the Hulk sees something even more stupid as they look ahead and see pieces of the church on fire with a countless number of zombies who've all made their way here after answering the call of Brother Deep. And also to the side, Charlie notices some really strange and creepy drawings on the wall. So she goes over to take a look while asking the Hulk if he knows what they are. But the Hulk's just like, don't care, we're leaving. But then the remains of what looks to be Sister Satan, who must have got caught up on a rope on the way down, tells Charlie that she's looking at the story of Brother Deep, but there's no one left to read it because it was written by those who are long gone. So she goes on to tell Charlie 
All we know of Brother Deep is his voice, his beautiful, beautiful voice. He's been singing to us our whole lives in a voice like church music, only screaming, howling for revenge against the golden god who ripped him apart but left him alive. We still hear him, girl. Even in death, we hear him, blind, burning, screaming. You hear him too now, don't you? He's singing about y'all, you know, about the fractured sun. As she then looks to the Hulk and says, the god who broke him and put him here, he had greed eyes, understand? Brother Deep is coming for you, fractured son. Him, his mother, and her eldest. Hallelujah. As Brother Deep then emerges from this molten pit, scattering his zombie followers across the mining caves as he violently rises out, towering over the Hulk and Charlie, which now for us, with seeing him here and getting this brief look at his story, this all just ties back into what we were shown in the first couple issues, with Brother Deep also being a child of the Mother of Horrors, alongside of the eldest, who was the first to return after laying dormant for years in fear of the fractured son, only to make their return now that the green door is shut. But as far as what some of this history means specifically, with it saying things like the Golden God, which may be a one above all, one below all reference, we still don't know the full story of what happened so many years ago. But I'm sure that's something we'll get the rest of down the line, because from how it sounds, when that happens, it may need its own video. But with Brother Deep rising up, Hulk's just like, leave me alone. But Brother Deep is just spewing molten rocks and trying to smash the Hulk, only for the Hulk to catch his hand or foot, it's kind of hard to tell with the way this guy looks. But the Hulk is just like, fine, as the Hulk then goes on to give Brother Deep that work with his Cthulhu may cry looking self. And while this is happening, you can tell that Brother Deep recognizes the Hulk, or at least he's aware of the green one, which again, just has me super anxious to see this guy's backstory and how that went down. Cause on one hand, we know when the green door was open, it allowed time travel. We saw that with the leader. And on the other hand, you got characters like Tamas, who were around centuries ago. So really the possibilities of where this story could take us are just endless. So I'm excited to see exactly how that's gonna unfold. But again, with the Hulk working this guy like a full-time gig with benefits, he tells Brother Deep that he should have stayed in his stupid hole. And the Hulk breaks off this huge long piece of wood and he just goes to stabbing Brother Deep in each one of his eye looking things placed all over his body, just wrecking Brother Deep completely. And sometime later, we then see the Hulk punch an opening so that him and Charlie can make their way back up to the surface. And as it stands, now that Charlie's out of there, the Hulk is ready to continue moving on about his way. But while they're out here, the zombie sheriff, who's now just crawling around with him making his way back up too, he tries to reach out and grab Charlie. But Charlie sees this and she stomps the mess out of this guy while telling him that he should have stayed in his stupid hole. And right here, when the Hulk sees this, it puts a smile on his face. So he tells her, all right, Charlie, keep up, but don't trust Banner. Make things easier for Banner. We're done. Which now shows us that she's growing on him because it's almost like she's stepped up to the you're okay with me kid level with the Hulk now. But also with Charlie hearing the way that the Hulk talks about Banner, this causes her to understand what she didn't quite get before when she was talking to Banner, because now she's beginning to understand how the Hulk and Banner are two different people. So she asks him, it's really true, huh? There really are two of you in there. Only for the Hulk to then respond, not much longer, which is wild. And hearing him say that, it only goes to show us, regardless of the Hulk finally being nice to Charlie and saving her multiple times, when it comes to Banner, the Hulk is ready to X him out of the picture. And that hasn't changed, not even a little bit. And so now real quick, I wanna give a special shout out to all the patrons. Thank you guys for all of your support. And for anyone who's new here, who wants more information on how to support the channel, I got a link below where you can go to patreon.com slash dopespill. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts, theories, and your feedback on the new Hulk series down in the comments. Cause I'm curious to know what this story's got you guys thinking so far, cause I'm loving it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll do it again on the next one. All right, later.